How's it going, everybody? Today is day number 10 of the 55-day challenge. I'm feeling good. I'm focused. I'm ready to get this day knocked out, giving you all a quick check-in. Um, I've been thinking, you know, I was talking to my girl today, and um, I was just thinking about the healthcare industry. Um, you know, I don't want to get too political or anything like that, but I just think about our health, and we really are responsible for our health. You know, we're all different human beings. We all have different things going on with our bodies. We're just every human, but there's no human body that is the same. So therefore, nobody is going to love us or take care of ourselves like we are. So we have to be willing to really get that discipline to be more healthier in life and take care of ourselves because the healthcare industry, just, you know, from my perspective of having loved ones in the hospital and just dealing with the healthcare industry in general, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's some people that can relate to this, but, you know, it's just like everything else has really gone to, to you know, to hell, you know, pretty much. And, uh, you know, just like, you know, the, the analogy of customer service and uh, anything else that, you know, is good in the world is just like things are just, you know, kind of on a decline so as far as with the healthcare industry back to full circle the healthcare industry yeah there's you know there's people who care like you know that are in that industry the nurses the doctors there's certain healthcare professionals that actually care about people and want to are in the healing process and want to see people do better but just the whole idea of the healthcare industry as a whole um you know we're all different. So you have to doctor yourself. And that, you know, that's a common expression, but it's so true. You have to doctor yourself. You need to be in tune with your body. You need to be one with your body. You need to really look to the future and don't be living in the now as far as, you know, wanting to be, you know, to just over gluttonize and, you know, overindulge. You have to really take your health into consideration and look to the future because, you know, we all have to visit doctors. We all you know, have, you know, our time here on earth. But the thing is, you don't want to put your life in the hands of the healthcare industry. You know, you want to have them as an aid to assist you in how you've doctored yourself over the years and taking care of your body. But, you know, a lot of people have this mind frame, like you go to the hospital to get healed. And like I said, there are some great people in the healthcare profession, but then there are a lot of people who don't care. They get into the healthcare industry for the wrong reasons, you know, good pay, vacation time, all kind of different reasons that they get into that field, but their personality does not fit the type of person who has the bedside manners to care for people and to really treat and heal people, you know, and uh, I just, I feel like you really have to doctor yourself, take your health in the, your own hands and use the hospital and the healthcare industry as an ally to, you know, kind of fine tune what you're doing yourself. So it's very, very imperative that you get that weight off your body. You don't want the high blood pressure, the diabetes, the cancer, the dialysis, and you have to deal with people. And now it just, for your overall well being of your body and your mental and physical health, you don't want to have to deal with the A entity that really just has a predetermined diagnosis for every single person and we're all different people so that's my little rant real quick and i just want to give you all a quick check-in i hope that you're having a great day i hope you're losing weight i hope you're dropping the pounds i hope that scale is going down every day every week and uh let's keep doing it together we're gonna be together for a while so i'll talk to you tomorrow